cooking channel. <laughs> well, first, how are you feeling today? Tired. I'm tired too. Overslept. A little bit. This quarantine is kind of kicking our butts and drawing up our sleep cycle. So drastically. We're getting back into it, hopefully. Mm-hmm. I highly doubt it. Because like, you gotta think. What does it matter if we stay up till two or three in the morning and because we don't have anything early to wake up for the next day, so that those lead to bad decisions, just saying. Yeah. So let us show you guys what is our setup here. So this is our mini chem lab that we have set up here. Okay. Yes. We have the jars that we're gonna actually cook the product in. We have liquid coconut oil as well as our flour. We have extra flour thermometer, measuring cup, and cheesecloth. This is just a few of the things that we have. Uh, this is our first time doing anything of this. So it's kind of like a trial and error. We're going to see what way works out, what way is better, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. So the recipe that we're going to be doing here, I got off of YouTube. So I will definitely be putting it in the description box. So if you guys want to check it, check it out, definitely do so and get educated as well. And then also all these products that you do see here, uh, I will also put in the description box links to show you where you guys could get them. The majority of these things we got it on Amazon, such as, I, no, this we got at our local supermarket. Cheesecloth, Amazon, and if you guys see this tea bag, it looks like actual tea, but there's actually cannabis in here. We got this on Amazon as well. Now certain of these things, uh, we'll see how it works. You know, last night we took one of the tea bags and we were like, we don't even know if it could survive such intense heat because it has to be... The cannabis has to be cooking at like 212. Anyway, so we wanted to make sure this was going to be doable and it held up with the hot temperature. So let's get started and show you guys what we got going on. In this bag, we have a double bag for smell and everything, is the actual cannabis. So in here, as we have previously purchased from a dispensary, is pre-ground flour. For those of you who don't know, the flour cup can be like that big, okay? And then this is just pre ground into a nice little fine, little small little pieces like this. This is perfect because when you want to infuse it into the oil, the smaller and the finer, the better. So that's what we have with this little tea bag, and this is going to avoid us from getting small little particulates into the oil and having to strain it three or four or five times. This is just an extra level of precaution and less work for us in the long run. All right, guys, so we have Paul's GoPro going on his head. So you guys are gonna get like two aspects, two point of view. So I think that would be pretty cool. Let us get started. So we had already pre-measured the bag and we put it away for the for the night. We do we didn't mash it up, but we do have to cut it up a little bit finer. It's recommended in the recipe to cut it up finer. As fine as you can get it. Because the thinner it is, and the finer it is, the better it will absorb into the actual oil. Now, Paul, why are you wearing gloves? I just don't want to contaminate anything. I don't want to get anything on my hands or anything like that and have the smell. Yeah, for me, it's mainly the smell. Now, um, several of my friends actually saw my recent cannabis vlog and saw that I paid $50 for this cannabis or, the, or this flower. And they found it absurd and crazy. Guys, apparently there's better prices out there. Uh, apparently uh, a good one is True Leaf, which sells uh, flour, or let me say like grounded up flour, flour yep. for $25. So we got it all set. There's already a little oil in there. I'm gonna put it in, I'm so excited. Watch me, I've forgotten something, right? I'm gonna stick some in there. Now this recipe calls for two thirds cup. I already put one third in. And a little bit more for good luck. Yes. And the cool thing about this one, at least, I could do this twice with this recipe. Yeah, because again, the flour that we purchased came with 7 grams, and this recipe calls for 3.5 grams. So we can actually do all of this twice and make two times the amount of oil. Because some recipes use 10 grams or 5 or stuff like that. And again, you can always change these things up, but we wanted something that was going to be easy for our first time doing this. Yes. And a little bit extra. Mix it up. I'm just gonna make sure it's not holy. And we close it up. So this thing's gonna get hot. And honestly, even afterwards, we do have a cheese block. I do like this. Because once this is all said and done, we are gonna strain it. And it's gonna be helping to strain and not let any extra of that 
particles inside. For those of you who don't know, cheesecloth is like a very, very fine mesh. So any kind of particulates that are left in the oil, if any, will be filtered out by the cheesecloth itself. Every single recipe we've seen online, they always use cheesecloth for that exact reason. Looks, looks beautiful. Look at it. Oh my goodness. It's, it's gonna beautiful. Start turning. Now Just we gotta. Keep swimming, swimming. Just keep swimming. So now at this point, we are waiting for it to stay at a temperature. And once again, Paul was smart to get something like this to help regulate because the other ones we found were not that easy. The other ones were just like low, medium, and high. So if you want, if you needed something or wanted something in between those settings, you were just out of luck. Yeah. So I made sure I found one that had these little dials. This little dial is perfect to make sure that uh, we get the temperature we need. So we are checking again the boiling. Goodness, it's only at 208. And is it at its max? Maybe at the no, max. No, it's not at its max. I was like, maybe at the max it will go exactly at 212. You know how easy that would be then in our lives for this? Let me get the 209. It, it's it's 209. right at 209. Have Blew we, our little minds. Have we advanced in such a way that we have tech, we created technology to create 12, 212 exactly? Oh, oh, oh. Turned off. just killed off. There's the auto shut off. Wow, it's like 210. It's not moving. Are we serious? 211. I think it's about to be at 212. Well, it has to be on max, babe. You still haven't unleashed... It's on, it's on max of max right now. You haven't now. unleashed the beast. The Kraken. Yep, 211.8. Well, That's they lied. We're they lied. They said boiling point's 212. That is not boiling point, honey. Are you ready? Maybe. Now, the best of the best we're going to add. We're going to eat bush. Watch it not fit in here. Oh, wow, wow. It's hot. It's hot. Well, there was no point in trying to put a lid over it. It can be for show. Voila! Alright guys, so Paul just set up his timer, thankfully. So we have to crouch because the camera angle, sorry. Yeah, I know, plus I'm, I'm just so much taller, so for Janice, she's just going like an inch below me. It's like a foot. Sorry, babe. Whatever. Love it. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is going. We get to leave this in for two hours. So, we'll wait till then. So, it's been a couple hours. Me and Paul went to go do an errand and sadly we entrusted our cannabis boiling experiment to my mom and guys I love you I love my elders but sometimes don't trust your parents so from what she told me it was boiling the water started draining out oh yeah the water started draining out and um, so she decided to add more water we think she added cold water because she like just totally cracked the glass so she's like, so I just stopped it and put it to the side and I'm just going to leave it here for you guys to figure out. Guys, let's hope this is redeemable. So I'm just going to let Paul do this. I don't like to lose money. And the class broke. Yeah, there's okay. oil. Ugh, oil spilling. We got good oil. Okay, we're going to try to save that oil and see what we can do. All right, let me just say the garage is open. So we're good. But... We just opened this, and I remember I told my mom, open it and see if it's broken or leaking through, which it is. A little bit right there. And she opened it, and she's like, ah, oh, the smell, the smell. Now, guys, sadly, I will put a link above so you guys could check out our cannabis vlog. We did talk about having a stigma of cannabis. Like, it looks bad, you know, the scent. It's a bad stigma, and sadly, my mom still follows it. She disagrees 100% that I do cannabis. She thinks it's bad, you know, I look like a druggy stuff of that nature but I show her and I tell her look at all the medications I was previously now I'm not on any so I think this is really doing good for me uh, Paul's gonna figure this out I brought an extra cheesecloth put it in here so we can like really like strain it as much and then we're gonna restart cooking it again so from the video what we're gonna do is of course strain it with a strainer through the cheesecloth try to just hope there's no glass in it, highly doubt it, and just try to get this done. Okay, so we did strain it, and look how badly that cracked. It was a lot worse than what I thought. <sighs> yeah. 
Now guys, when you are going to fill this, please put lukewarm to hot water with this, not cold water. Alright guys, so I'm pretty irked. Like, yeah. We were hoping water didn't get into it. Yeah, it got into it. So, um, this is all unusable. Guys, I do not handle these types of situations well. And when you think of it, wasting money. I mean, I get irked. This costs a lot as it is, and it's ruined. I'm just not a happy camper. But, you know, honestly, when I think of situations like this, I think of Jackie, honestly, because she literally was always on top of me about that. She's like, Janice, if you can't change the situation, change your mood, because literally I'm the worst about that. So, I need to, you know, turn my frown upside down, keep pushing forward, well, not, not be a crybaby about it, because I'm tearing up. No, but I'm here to help you, baby. Mwah. Come here, give me, so. give me camera. Oh. So I'm taking over. So Janice, she's frustrated because this is time, this is money, and this is effort that she has done a lot of research and a lot of time that she has spent on trying to find a good recipe for us to do. And it, you know, our efforts have gone down the drain so far. But I am here to make it all better. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste your money. You're being so supportive and I just messed up and I'm upset. It's okay. I still love you, babe. All right. All right, babe. I love you. I still love it when she cries because she's still so cute to me in my eyes. I don't mind. I think this is a learning experience and together we shall triumph. Right, babe? Look at her. Come on, look. I love you still. You understand? I'm sorry. It's going to be okay. So something that we're going to do for this next process is instead of just leaving it for a couple hours. We're gonna check every 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna come back in, make sure that there's enough water, make sure that everything is going okay to uh, avoid the problem from previous trial. Uh, so this is trial number two. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make sure that everything goes smoothly this time to ensure that we get the product that we want. Alrighty, everybody, so round number two. So we have clean set pot. So that thing, uh, here we have the actual cannabis in the tea bag. We added another tea bag with a little bit more with some oil. Um, we are running extremely low <laughs> on this. We use a lot more than what we saw, expected. So we have the uh, hot plate going and uh, now we wait. And at the end of all of this, we are gonna show you guys the finished product and let us know what you think. We are done, look at it. So you can see there's the tea bag in there and the oil has turned into a greenish color. It was clear before. Um, it has been here cooking in the water for over two hours. And now we're gonna let it cool down a little bit and then we're going to run it through the cheesecloth. And this is pretty much it in its final state. This recipe is super simple. It's a little time consuming, but this one's only two hours versus some of them say so you have to bake it and then after you bake it you put it into the oil and you let it sit for eight hours and then two hours sitting it's crazy stuff this one is a lot simpler and for a first time i think it's good let me just say this has been a whole day process I'm it's supposed happy. to be two hours <laughs> first time first time. yeah this is our first time so there's a liar so let's get started guys now let me just say guys paul opened it and it's smells horrendous and I can't even imagine letting this cook in the open for two hours so this was actually a smart idea and now you have a strong potent odor potent. coming at you All right, guys. You guys don't even have a clue how hard this vlog is gonna be edited. Like, oh my god, this is not easy. Today's project was not easy. So we are officially done. We don't have much to clean up because we have cleaned up other stuff. As you guys can tell, the sun's gone. 
Yeah, and we close the garage for the skeeters to make sure the mosquitoes don't come in. Okay, for some of you guys who are experts at this, let me know. Can I reuse this? Can I save it? Because I don't. You're not supposed to, supposedly, from what it I've kills me to just throw this away. Like, yeah, I, don't know, I do like another is. batch with this. It just won't be as potent. So here's our end result. It is a nice green liquid oil. Yeah. Okay, um, it's very smelly. That's <laughs> very smelly. I looked at Janice and I'm like, you're going to ingest that. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to end up doing now is we're going to put that away, put it in the fridge, maybe whatever you want, to, wherever you want to store it. Uh, I'm going to finish cleaning, disinfecting all of this. This is going to go into our dishwasher on sanitized to make sure it gets all the oil and smell out of it. And uh, this seemingly simple two-hour process has turned into a full day ordeal. Yeah. But guys. But it was worth it. Yes, I really recommend this recipe because there's really not a strong odor at all. Yeah, Once honestly. you open this, there's a strong smell. But and that's another thing, these containers that we have here, this is all airtight, so it has yeah. rubber seals around everything, so it does not smell. This smells right now because it's, it's sitting open. there. But when we were cooking it, not zero good. smell. Absolutely nothing. You know, our neighbors were outside, they couldn't smell anything, no one, no one really said anything. And I was waiting for either somebody to be like, who's making that? What does that smell? And get mad or be like, can I have some? <laughs> Even Janice's mom who came in were like, hey, do you smell anything? She goes, no, not at all. Like, and she and smells she has a nose for a while of a from dog. a ways away. Yeah. She has a nose of a dog. Anyway, guys, this is where we end it. It's been tiresome. And I hope this was educational and fun for you guys. Seeing us screw up. Uh, so guys, for now, adieu and goodbye.